Tables in a database often have common columns, so we can use inheritance in JPA to avoid duplicating attributes that will be mapped to such columns. JPA Buddy allows us to create entities from tables in a database and choose a parent entity while doing it. Let's see it in action. In our database, all tables have audit columns. In the JPA model, we have audit entity class, which contains all the audit fields. It is marked with the mapped superclass annotation. We also have another mapped superclass, base entity, that inherits from audit entity and contains ID and name fields. All entities in the project inherit from these mapped superclasses. Now we need to generate an entity for the new table called owners. JPA Buddy allows us to choose a parent class from existing mapped superclasses and marks all attributes that will be inherited. It detects attributes that will be inherited if both parent and child entity attributes have the same name and type. But sometimes, the column name specified in the mapped superclass doesn't match the one in the child entity table, but we still want to inherit it. In this case, we can use attribute override annotation, and JPA Buddy can assist us. Just click on the attribute name and select the attribute that will be overridden. In addition, JPA Buddy allows to generate an inverse attribute for the one-to-many association. It doesn't exist in the database but looks right for the JPA model. Here we go. Note that while entity generation, JPA Buddy warned us that some inherited attributes from the mapped superclass are missing in the database. Indeed, the table owners doesn't have last modified by and last modified date columns. With JPA Buddy, we can bring the model in line with a few clicks. To do this, we select the generate DDL by entities action from JPA structure, then the existing DB update option. The script to update the database is ready. We can insert it directly into the console and execute it. Here we go. Now our entities fully match the tables in the database. It is important to note that if you use Liquibase or Flyway in the project, JPA Buddy can also help. Just use the Liquibase diff changelog or Flyway version migration actions instead of generate DDL by entities, in this case. Thank you for watching.